Hello and welcome to my underwear drawer. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say in a YouTube video. Right, we know the drill by now. We're on decluttering video number four. I just filmed decluttering my skincare and hair care drawer. If you haven't watched that already, link will be in the description if I remembered. Let's hope I did. I was aiming to do my whole chest of drawers in one video, but then I realized I talk too much, so gonna have to split it. So today we're tackling my underwear drawer and two pajama drawers. So let's get stuck in. I'm lucky because this isn't actually all of the stuff I got because I'm about a year behind on my washing. So I need some more socks. I'm running out of socks, guys. Right. Let's get started. So I already have these very cute little dividers. Um, I don't remember where they're from, but they're very easy to pick up on the World Wide Web. But um, they are kind of already in their own little order, to be honest. But there are a few things I could probably do with getting rid of. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to like fold my socks differently. I'm going to fold my socks the Marie Kondo way, I think, because like most people, I get my little sockies and I go like that and like that, but that's not the Marie Kondo way. Right, I can already see something I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of this little free people bralette because my boobies don't fit in that. These are not designed for girls above like a B cup, I don't think. And unfortunately, I have worn it quite a lot, so can't even get away with selling it just because it's from free people. So there we go. There's one to chuck already. Um, yeah, so just, that's like knickers. This is bralettes and stuff. And then we've got socks, socks, socks. Um, what should I do first? I've got some random socks just shoved here and everything's always covered in hair as well because I have a bad habit of leaving it open like that much and then I'll just stand here and brush my hair and then all my hair falls out into this. So I've constantly got socks covered in hair. Great. Um, let's just get out. I've got a lot of random stuff shoved in places as well. So for example, these are all bra strap accessories like bra extenders um spare straps all that sort of shit and then these are big fat heel grips which i don't really need to keep in this drawer they could go somewhere else then i've got some more of those more bra stuff um little fishnet socks more bra straps, more heel grips, little cup things from a bra that are covered in dust. I don't know what these went to, I'm just going to get rid of them. Bye. Um, ooh, a, a rank sock covered in hair and its other friend, rank sock covered in hair. I've been in them, I can't even, can't be asked. Right take these things out oh god tip tape <laughs> more fishnet socks for someone that doesn't really wear fishnet socks why do i have two pairs right yeah we've got tip tape and other breast tape accessories and then we've got chunky socks here and don't look at my bridget jones pants oh my god the embarrassment um i think most of you guys would probably call them spanks i call them bridget jones pants um i have no idea what that's broken off of but whatever right i'm gonna be a, i'm gonna be a big brave girl now and get rid of some socks that i've loved in my time for example i'm gonna get rid of my hello kitty socks and I don't remember the last time I wore them. Actually, no, I do. It was June 2nd, 2016. Just kidding. But yeah, they, they don't look in the best condition. They look a little bit sad. But um, maybe I'll treat myself to a new pair of Hello Kitty socks. 
because that's the reasonable thing to do when you're 24 years old definitely and then I also loved these socks as well these both of these pairs of socks have got those little rubber bits on the bottom to stop you from slipping like you're a child which I love but I don't remember the last time I wore these it's been a long time so I'm gonna gonna say goodbye to them and then these socks are offensively large but they're so thick and fluffy they're so they're amazing look at them I think my dad bought me these and they they aren't actually that fluffy anymore but um I kind of want them I want to keep for them so I will these socks are lovely they're too small for me though they don't have enough stretch in them but they're really lovely woolly socks that were bought for, as a gift for me they're really nice I really love them but they are too small I'm gonna offer them to my mum because my mum has got size two feet bless um but I know that she's been she was inspired by Marie Kondo as well so she's been clearing out her drawers so I doubt she'll take me up on them but I think they're just fab they're so fun yeah I'll offer them to my mum right and I've got socks in loads of other places as well like in other bags of clean washing bags of dirty washing and stuff I've got socks everywhere right I've only got like a couple of bralettes in here or like boob tubes bandos and stuff so let's just that's all the twisted this one this one is clean but it like the fake tan never came out of it so when you look at the inside of it it looks a bit gross but it is clean um i think i've actually got a couple of bandos and top things in here actually that that doesn't need to be in there that doesn't need to be in there that doesn't need to be in there that's a sports bra don't even know why it's in there i don't do sports and that just doesn't need to be in there so my little bralettes and things like that i'll just fold up and put in here so he was um got some knickers here um are there any i want to throw away i'm not going to throw any away because i often find myself not having enough anyway and i don't have the funds to replace them at the moment so i'm going to have to hang on for a bit i'm going to fold all these up um which will be hideously boring for you so um because i've got more socks than bralettes 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 although i do still have some i'm wearing a bralette now and i do have a few in the wash i think i could actually get them all in a cube probably i'll have to stack them in order of like ones i'm most likely to wear which would be like this um, I don't know I like this one less and then I can get socks in here um, and I can get them all folded up so I really have got literally no socks at the moment I need to do some washing I might actually go do some washing in a minute um, so, I believe, I don't remember exactly, I believe the way she folded socks was, lay them both on top of each other like this, and then I think just do it in a third, one, two, three, and then, I don't know, because then you got this weird little bit here, what if I go... I think maybe fold that in possibly one one two three maybe like that and then you just stack it or put it so it kind of goes like this 
so if I do another pair, <clears throat> God, I need loads of new socks and underwear. I don't look after them properly, like I don't put them on the appropriate washing cycle because um, I think they should, most of my, I think most of it should probably go on a delicate cycle, which I don't do. So they all end up looking really disgusting. Right, so I don't know how well that will work with like ankle socks because most of my socks are ankle socks. Let's try. Oh, that'll be fine, I think. I think I'll just put my ankle socks in here. It's covered in dust. But um, I'm gonna go scavenge, see if I've got any more socks in any like clean laundry bags or anything like that and maybe do a load of washing um, and then we will see where we're at after that. Hello, so it's a little bit later. Um, I did a load of washing and I went to the very bottom of my washing basket and what do you know? There's about 30 pairs of socks down there that I haven't seen. I'm not gonna tell you how long. <laughs> I even found another Hello Kitty sock, but just the one. I don't know where the other one went. So in the wash, I've currently got over 30 pairs of socks, which I can't wait to fill these compartments up with. I have sort of been going on without you a little bit. I'm sorry. But um, we'll actually talk about that when I've actually got it all filled up. So now we've got our first pyjama slash miscellaneous drawer. So, first thing I'm going to do is take out my Christmas pyjamas um, because it is no longer Christmas. So they can come out and I know I've got some in here as well. Some there and some there. If we just pop them to one side for the minute. Oh. I'm also going to point out that they, that is not all of my Christmas pyjamas. I actually have some more as well. No judging. This channel is a judgment free zone. Right, so. Um, oh, got some Christmas socks as well. And I did find another pair of those here. So, um, right. This isn't a pyjama top. I need to find somewhere else to put it. This is a hair length measuring top. Because I'm that sad. Um, if you just go there for a minute. Oh my god, I've got so much dust in my throat. Note to self: before tidying your room, take an antihistamine tablet. Right. So um, these are short pajamas, which I'm not going to be wearing anytime soon. So. They're going to go to one side and get put somewhere else. Probably my sister's room. I bloody love that my sister moved out because I just dump all my shit in her room. It's great. Right. Um, and then this is a random assortment of like um, little tops and little vesty bits and all that sort of stuff. Cycling shorts to go under your dresses. These are tiny and aren't going to fit me. And they also had a rip in them somewhere. But these are great, by the way. Definitely invest in some of these just to go under your dress so you can do cartwheels if you want to. But I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to get rid of this boob tube or tube top if you're from America. Because although it does fit me, I think in the summertime I might just treat myself to a new one. Because it's a size 36. Which is either, either a size 6 or a size 8. I can't remember, but um, I'm a 14. So, you're no good to me. And then, that should probably be in the little bralette thing, but... No, those bralettes are more things I just wear around the house. This would be for something else. I don't know what. Um, oh, another pair of those shorts. But these ones were too long. Like, these are for real cycling, I feel. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to do about those. Maybe cycle in them. No. Then I've got a slip, 
because I am 87 years old, so I need to have a slip. And then just a little, I don't know, that's more summery. I think I'm gonna take that out for the time being and whack it with some summer stuff. But, I've got lots of little top, tops and stuff that I can fold up and put in there. And that's what I will do. So, let's get folding. Pajamas. Um, most of my pajamas are in the wash at the moment. I think all my sets and stuff. Um, but that wouldn't make sense because I've literally only just washed three sets of pajamas. What happened to all my pajamas? Right, I'm not sure what the best way to fold pajamas is. I don't think Marie Kondo touched on that in her series, but because um, I like to sort of fold them together, but that's probably not ideal. But that's what I like to do. These ones I should throw away, really. But I'm suddenly not sure where all my pajamas have gone, so I don't want to throw them away until I know I've got enough. Pairs. I think what I'll do is fold the top up. I think this is what I had already anyway, and then just fold it into the bottoms. like that and then you've got a nice little parcel that you can just slot in there but i don't have any other sets all of these are sort of assorted things so that's a thing and then this bottom drawer here i don't really know what's going on in this got a little lace top that can go in our Cami drawer. And tights. Got some tights. And a pair of socks. So I obviously haven't washed these. Unless I wash them with the socks. That sounds like something I would do. Oh, I'm so annoyed now. I could have washed these with the other socks. What a pain in the bum. I think these are my only decent pair of tights. I think all the other ones are a little bit fucked up. I love folding this stuff. It's so soothing. Oh my god. There we go. So I don't confuse these. Let's just throw them over there. Right. Oh, then we've got a slip dress not like one that you'd actually wear out but like one to go under a see-through dress i suppose that should stay in here and then i've got another one but this one's more like a bodycon one and then i've got a cushion that a watch would have come on that i obviously didn't want to part with at the time however i feel much more ruthless nowadays so bye um now that could go in here. It's not something I wear a lot, so I'm a bit annoyed now because they could have gone at the bottom of this. And I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to take everything out to put these two slips at the bottom. Oh, where did my slip skirt go? That can go in here as well. I think I'll sort of put one a bit more flat in the box because then that way things can just sort of go on top that seems like a solid plan to me anyway it might not to you but this is my stuff i'm hungry again actually i'm not sure i ever stopped Right, now we've got our 
our slips in. We can begin putting everything else back in. And then at the bottom here, we've just got more tights, I think. Oh, I see socks. I see some fucking socks. Right, um, these tights ended up being sucky. I only bought them last month and they did end up being sucky, like I just said. But, well, they were sucky for what I wanted because they're just like really sheer. Um, that wasn't what I was going for. However, you never know. Might be good ones to keep. I've got five pairs of the bloody things. They're really sensitive though, like it wouldn't take much for you to ladder these. I think I'd quite like to get them back in the box if I can. Doubt it though, because I've made a bit of a state of it. Come on, you little bastard. Ow! Yes! Um, oh my god, I've got vests coming out my ears. Oh, another pair of tights. These look like good tights. Oh, hello. Where did you come from, mate? What are you doing in there? And, of course, another sock. Three odd socks. There's more odd socks there. Great. So, I reckon, now we've only got these tights, I can put bra accessories in here which is great I'm going to put these weird little fishnet socks in as well well as there's room I might as well put the heel grips in too brilliant Wonderfully displayed there, I think. Organisation. Really, I could put these into the same drawer. We could try this out. That didn't sound healthy. We could try doing that maybe and then maybe depending on how many I have I could put pajama sets in here and then pajama singular stuff in here depending on how many I've got but I don't really have anything else to put in here right now so I think I will have to continue this when all my washing is dry which probably I probably won't have time to do it now until tomorrow or the day after so I'll catch up with you in a day or two. Hi guys, so it is now, I'm so cold, so please excuse me. Um, it's now Saturday afternoon. I've got massively dry lips, so I just need to put on some lip balm. All of the washing I did yesterday is now clean and dry. This is a whole bag of socks. Wish I was joking. This is all socks. That's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. It's going to take me a while to uh, refold these Marie Kondo style and to uh, fill these drawers up. I've got a feeling I'm going to have way more socks than I can fit in these. I have also found that I've got quite a few pair of fluffy socks so I might say goodbye to these but I really don't want to. I don't know why I'm trying to put them on with these socks, but I haven't worn them in forever, so I think I will say bye to these sad times, but um, yeah, it's time to fold up all my socks. I will get back to you when this mission is done. It's 2.47 in the afternoon. This is going to take a while. Okay, it's now 20 past three and I'm all done. Um, I did keep my big fluffy socks because there was a big empty gap and I found somewhere to put them. So I thought, might as well keep them. No judging. Well, that is done. We can say goodbye. And we can do our 
pajama drawer, which means I've now got to go find all my pajamas. These are all socks that I'm getting rid of. So made some good progress there because that's quite a lot. Really upset though. I might hang on to this one because it's Calvin Klein one and the other one must be like under my bed or something but yeah I'm gonna go get some pajamas <laughs> these are all of the pajama sets I could find that aren't shorts or like summer ones I do have one pair in the wash but I think this is it I think there's two three five pairs so that's not a lot and one of them this set here is absolutely huge this will take up a lot of drawer space so I'm not even sure yet if I'm going to keep them in my drawers or just keep them in my storage room aka my sister's bedroom <laughs> This jumper is so unflattering, but it's literally so big and comfy, I don't even care. So, this drawer, can't really open it very well. Yeah, so I put those big fluffy pyjamas in this drawer, and now it doesn't open properly because they're too massive. And this drawer, I have got all pairs of pyjamas and then a few singular things like odd bottoms and an odd top and then obviously we've got this is my favorite one this one pleases me the most to look at this one sparks the most joy for me and i found my missing calvin klein sock i washed it and put it in an odd clean sock pile so it's been reunited with its mate and i'm very happy now <laughs> So that is my chest of drawers all done. Don't forget, I've also cleared out my hair care and skincare drawer if you feel like going to watch that video also. It's all looking pretty minimalistic in there. And that is pretty much it from me. This might be the last decluttering video. Not sure, it depends on if I decide to declutter or film my decluttering of my bedside table. However, it just needs to be tidied really, I'm not sure how much I really want to throw away, so maybe it's something more to put in a vlog rather than a video on its own, but we will see. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you've watched the sort of like whole declutter series, then thank you so much for that. If you've not seen them, they will be linked down in the description, and I'll put them in a little playlist as well, so you can just watch them one after the other if you feel like it. And that is it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon. Goodbye.